Uh, today, we're going to talk about the topics of 1031 exchanges, right? So one of the most common questions I get in my investor intake calls are, you know, one, what is a 1031 exchange? And two, does Nighthawk Equity allow investors to 1031 into our deal? Good afternoon, guys. My name is David Milan. I'm the Director of Investor Relations here with Nighthawk Equity. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. So here we have Drew Niffin, uh, President of Nighthawk. Uh, Drew, you know, we know that 1031 exchanges um, are a way to defer tax liability through real estate, but can you break this concept down a little bit further for me? So, so 1031 exchanges are, are simply a way of, even when you sell an asset, um, basically e effectively from a tax standpoint, continuing to own an investment property without having a big taxable gain, a, a big payment to Uncle Sam, right? So let's say you bought um, a rental property and you know you had many years down the road, you had a half a million dollar gain. And if you didn't have a 1031 exchange, you might have to pay $150,000 in taxes on that. But by having a 1031 exchange, you can sell that asset, move the proceeds of it over into a new one and defer the payment of those taxes. So in, in, it's named after the section 1031 of the tax code. So at a high level, it's a way to uh, liquidate a property, sell it, but continue to invest and defer the time that you need to pay those taxes. Okay. Makes sense. Clear, concise explanation. So thanks for that. So again, one of the other questions that I get from investors is, does Nighthawk typically permit 1031s into our investment opportunities? The short answer is at this time, no. So we, we've looked at this. There are a number of reasons why it can be uh, complicated to do it. There are some more legal requirements and there's some more timing issues. So we have not historically done that. Um, at the same time, you know, David, you, you shared with me many times that uh, it's one of the common questions that you get from investors. So we've done a lot of research on this and we, we do see an avenue to do it. And importantly, to do it in a way that doesn't, what I say, uh, what, I, what I say is you don't want to let the tax tail wag the investment dog. So you don't want to let the, you know, the fear of paying some taxes drive bad investment decisions. And, and the way that that could happen in a 1031 is you sell a property and you only get 45 days from the day that you sell the property to name the next property that you want to buy. And so a lot of people in that 45 day window, they'll kind of get, they'll get, you know, a deal frenzy going on and they'll overpay for an asset. So the question for us is how do we service our investors, find a way to do 1031s, but do so in a way that aligns all of their sales in a sense at the same time, but doesn't drive us to make an investment decision that's hurried. And so we've been working on that. We actually think we have an answer to that um, that will allow people to 1031 with us. And so one of the things that we're trying to do, David, is to figure out and understand who are the investors that are interested in, would like to do a 1031 exchange. So uh, if there is anyone listening here and you have a 1031 that you want to let us know about, uh, the, the best way for us to, to know that is to go to nighthackequity.com slash survey. Uh, and, and at that site, you can share with us, hey, I have interest. This is how much uh, I might have as far as gains to invest. And that way we can track those people and have a, a, a conversation uh, to make sure that they're included on any initiative that we do going forward on 1031s. With all that in mind, one thing I'd like to do is kind of take a step back and go into how, you know, the, the political landscape affects, you know, uh, what's going on with 1031 exchanges, right? So, mm -hmm. uh, for instance, you know, the Biden administration. Um, is the Biden administration going to remove 1031s? I know there's some talk around that. Should, you know, if I'm, if I'm currently in the midst of doing a 1031, should I lock in my gains now? Uh, so you, you are right. This, is, this, this can be a political lightning rod. And, and the reason is because, uh, you know, over the years, millions and billions of dollars of tax dollars have been deferred, have been, you know, effectively prevented from going into the federal government's pocket through 1031 exchanges. Now, the, the 1031s have been around for a long time, and they've survived administrations of both political parties, because it's generally accepted that we want to incentivize and encourage public housing. And we want people to put their money into apartment buildings uh, in, other, in, in order to provide housing for people. Um, having said all that, during the, uh, during the campaign, uh, a senior official for the Biden administration said that 1031s was one thing 
that the administration was going to look at removing in order to generate more revenue. Uh, that has not been effectuated. We don't know that's going to happen, but it's one thing that's been discussed. And a lot of people are honestly looking at, hey, if I can lock in that transaction now and actually get the benefit of the 1031, I might as well take a bird in the hand uh, be- as opposed to you know waiting a year or two and maybe selling it and losing that opportunity. Uh, and so the short answer, David, is that it's being talked about. It's not for certain yet. But you know, if you are on the margin, if you're thinking about selling an asset, this might be something that tilts the scales towards selling and being able to defer that gain uh, for a long time. Yeah, Drew, appreciate you sharing your thoughts on that. Uh, for everyone who's you know listening, tuning in right now, um, if you're interested in potentially uh, doing a 1031 exchange into one of our deals at Nighthawk, uh, please visit the link that Drew had mentioned earlier. That link is nighthawkequity.com/survey. And uh, fill out that survey on the webpage. Let us know what your thoughts are on that. Um, And other than that, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.